Learning from your mistakes is good, but you know what's even more amazing? Yes, learning from others' mistakes is even smarter. We are here to show you the differences between how wealthy and poor people think and act so that you avoid the mistakes the poor make and follow the methods the rich use in your own life. Don't you think that is a cool move to make? Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will go through the rich versus poor mindset. Before we get into the video, don't forget to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure that the post notifications are turned on so that you never miss a video from us. Without further ado, let's dive in. What, in your opinion, is the first thing to do? Do you believe a money-making motive is essential? One thing is certain, it all begins with the right mentality. If you take success seriously, you must modify your way of thinking. Attitudes, perceptions, and behavior are the primary differences between rich and poor people. The rich and poor differ not simply in terms of how much money they have but also in how they think. Wealthy people think differently from poor or middle-class people. They have differing viewpoints on money, wealth, themselves, others, and life. By doing so, you would have some different views from which to choose in your mind. As a result, you can catch yourself thinking as poor people do and easily switch over to how rich people think. Let's dwell on knowing how different are rich to poor. Number 7. The rich align their habits and emotions. It might seem textbook, but discipline is the key. You need to control your emotional state in order to develop your assets and use your financial literacy. Failure inspires winners. Failure defeats losers. Don't be like others and let your fears and feelings of doom and gloom paralyze you into inaction. Don't think you're too busy or don't have enough money to develop your wealth. If you don't think you can afford it, you can ask yourself, how can I afford it? As the pressure to pay your creditors will be so high that it will inspire you to make more money, use exercises like paying yourself first. Pay your bills too, of course, but use this exercise as a way to stimulate your financial thought. It isn't difficult to become wealthy. What you need is to start building habits that are going to get you there. You will become a millionaire if you put your mind to it. It will not happen overnight, but you'll be well on your way to gaining wealth with continuous and conscientious effort. Number 6. The Rich Learn Management and Communication Skills To learn to achieve financial success, management and communication skills are required. Communication skills are especially important for writing, speaking, negotiating, selling, and marketing. By taking courses or doing a second or another job that helps you to draw on these skill sets, you will learn these skills. Number 5. The rich create opportunities and take risks. There's just so much to learn. While luck and opportunity await the poor and middle class, the rich identify and build opportunities and take major risks. Robert addresses how two types of investors exist. There is one who, through a financial investor, purchases a bundled investment like a mutual fund. Another one is bringing together possibilities and making a new investment. It is this second sort of investor that sees opportunities that are ignored by everybody else. This investor knows how to raise money that does not need a bank and deals with more intelligent advisors than himself or employs them. If you take away something from today, let it be. Rich people are not afraid of failure. They don't fear doing anything different. They see a dilemma and they think of solutions to it quickly. They are not afraid of failure because they have not failed as long as there are lessons to learn. You definitely accomplished wins in the past, but you probably didn't have things going according to plan before those wins. Look back at any of them, and you will note the lessons you have learned in order to get you to the point of achievement. Number 4. The rich minimize taxes and use the power of corporations. Nobody is born with the knowledge of how to handle their assets. Sure, some people are born into families where they are well-modeled, for financial management, but that's not the case with the majority of us. Rich individuals realize this and are diligent in handling their finances. There's a budget for a wealthy person. A wealthy individual has learned how to spend on the stock market. A successful individual has made getting out of debt a priority. In addition, rich people know how to use potentially dangerous instruments to their benefit. Rich people will leverage it instead of racking up thousands of dollars in consumer debt to start a company if they need to. 
To build, they use debt and pay it off responsibly. The wealthy have the expertise in accounting, investing and understanding markets and law, or use advisors that have financial IQ. To protect their properties and minimize their taxes, they understand how to maneuver the scheme. For most individuals, the number one cost is taxation. The more money you receive as an employee, the higher the tax you pay. You have more tax benefits and precautions if you are the employer. They realize, for example, that a company can do something that an individual can't. An employee makes money, gets taxed, and uses expenditures for the remaining amount. A business, on the other hand, earns revenue to spend and then gets taxed on the remaining profits. They also use their company to defend their personal property against litigation. Number 3. The rich make money work for them It's not how much money you're making but how much money you're holding. A wealthy father is a frugal man who doesn't have a lot of material belongings. While the conventional school system shows you how to get a job, it doesn't show you how to make it work for you and save money. A poor or middle-class person's cash flow trend is to spend all of their income on expenses and liabilities, including credit card payments. A wealthy person's cash flow model is to invest their money not only on expenses and liabilities, but also in building properties. The author addresses how most assume that their problems can be solved by more capital. Actually, more money would highlight the problem. This is why individuals who frequently earn lottery winnings quickly return to the same financial struggles they were in before the cash windfall. There will be a rise in spending with this huge increase in revenue, as they will want to get more luxuries like a bigger and better home. Now their column of liabilities is rising, and they're stuck in the rat race. Opportunity costs are the true loss. They can't take advantage of opportunities to purchase properties that are momentarily discounted as their capital is tied up. They would therefore lose the amount of time that the assets have risen in value. Number 2. The rich build assets and reduce liabilities You should concentrate on building your personal wealth by growing your savings instead of relying on your job for income. While the poor and middle class accumulate liabilities, rich individuals acquire properties. In your wallet, an asset puts money in it. Money is taken out of your pocket by a liability. Stocks, shares, revenue-producing real estate, intellectual property royalties, and companies that produce revenue are examples of properties. Your house is one example of responsibility. Although often seen as an asset, as you have to pay property taxes, utilities, and other maintenance costs. Your home costs you money. If you rent your home out and generate cash flow from it, it will be considered an asset to your home. The author makes it clear that he's not suggesting he's not buying a house for himself to live in. He's saying that first, to pay for the house you want to live in. Purchase properties that will produce cash flow. Kiyosaki addresses his favorite two properties that are about to go public on a stock exchange, real estate, and small business stocks. Since he loves buildings and property, these are his favorites, and he is an entrepreneur at heart. Number 1. The rich don't work for money while the poor and the middle class work for money. They work for the rich to make money. Basically, a day's work for the poor and middle class to gain a paycheck, while the wealthy are entrepreneurial and capitalize on possibilities. To take advantage of these changes and make money work for you, you must overcome two emotions, worry and greed. The dread of running out of money and the concern of not being able to pay your expenses causes you to continue working on the same day even if it isn't meaningful to you. Greed spends all of the money it has on all of the most expensive things it can. The pleasure that comes from these things is often short-term. You'll quickly run out of money and want to buy more things. This pattern of concentrating on making more money and then increasing your spending, thereby enslaving yourself to the rat race, perpetuates these two emotions. So, consider the following questions. What is your vision? What route will you take? What kind of person would you like to be? When, if not now, will it be? Today is an excellent day to begin planning and working toward your goals with a wealthy mindset. Also, please tell us if you've read any of Robert Kiyosaki's works. Thank you for taking the time to watch. We hope you found this session useful. Please share your thoughts in the comments box below. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other videos. Until then, stay tuned.